Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about that time I almost collaborated with Rob Liefeld on a comic book project. So let me set the scene. Oh, really? How's it go? How's it go? Let me set the stage for the scene. Um, back in let's say the early two thousands, um, that's when I first started to go online. Well, as most people were, um, but um, it became more accessible. During the mid 2000s and the early 2000s, uh, we were still using dial up and all of that. Then it later became, um, you know, I couldn't go online as often. It would interfere with the phone lines and all of that. So, fast forward to around the year 2004, 2005, where things were normal, more normalized, and, and internet service providers were offering better services and all of that. So, Around that time, I started to join several online communities, uh, online forums, discussion forums for, you know, well, at that time, my main interest was comic books. Um, since the early mid 90s, when the bug hit me that I wanted to be a comic book artist, um, and when that's when I also started to collect comic books and all of that. So um, uh, that was pretty much my main focus to uh, as a career path, right? I wanted to be a comic book artist. So um, I've attended Comic Con regularly since 95, you know, missing on the odd year here or there. <clears throat> uh, but for the most part, for the most part, I've attended Comic-Con almost every year. I would show up my portfolio, you know, they would always tell me uh, what uh, areas to improve and all of that. And, uh, you know, it's, um, now I've been, it's been almost a decade since I've shown a portfolio. The industry is just different. So uh, it's not something that I'm actively pursuing although there are still ideas that I have uh, you know that I would still like to pursue someday uh, but anyway so just so you can get a sense of my uh, mindset back in the day right so anyway mid-2000s I joined several online comic book forums um, the big three at that time were um, uh, comic book resources, which is trash right now. Newsarama, which is also trash right now. And ComicCon.com, um, which doesn't even exist anymore. Um, but all of those for, uh, communities would have their fair share of um, uh, comic book artists uh, pop in often, right? So you could have interaction with the artists fairly regularly um, and one of the more um, well, uh, one of the more um, active uh, topics around that time and probably still would be today if forums were more uh, if, the, if comic book forums were still more active instead of just like discussions on Twitter and all of that, so is Rob Liefeld, uh, and particularly Rob Liefeld's artwork. And for me, you know, again, um, just like any kid who grew up in the 90s, you know, you loved those guys, you know, the all the... Uh, the image guys, that the, the guys that would go on to form image, Liefeld, McFarlane, Lee Silvestri, Portacio, Larson, Valentino. Well, I never quite liked Valentino, but you get what I'm saying, right? <clears throat> uh, and as years go on, you know, as with everything, right, your tastes change, right? And as 
your knowledge of the art form increases or you know develops um, you could see now you could detect some of those flaws in the artist's artwork and how they would correct issues going forward how they would evolve as artists and all of that right but uh, famously you know one of those artists that never quite grew to their fullest potential let me just say I guess I can say it was Rob Liefeld right everybody knows the famous image of that Captain America with the big chest and tiny body and disproportioned and all of that and um, you know his infamous infamy for not drawing feet always having feet covered up in dust clouds and all of that you know in his wonky anatomy and you know the works right everybody knows by now if everybody who knows a thing up or two about rob liefeld's artwork everybody knows the typical um top topics of discussion so rob liefeld uh you know <clears throat> was a hot topic to discuss and so you know if you would say anything negative the rob liefeld fans would immediately attack you as haters guess what it's still a thing today. You attack something, a quote unquote attack something, you're labeled as a hater. You can't have an opinion unless it's coming from a malicious uh, standpoint, right? So um, you can't have uh, quality discussions with anyone if their mindset is, oh, you're just attacking my favorite artists. It's the same thing over and over. Come up with something new, right? Okay. Anyway, okay. So that was the um, the uh, the um, the uh, the folk. The, that's the probably the most sharpest focus I can uh, of the topics. You know uh, of how they would go, right? But you would have discussions that would go on for pages and pages and pages of discussions and all of that. So anyway. <clears throat> Rob Liefeld, I believe he would frequent Newsarama. I believe that was where, yes, I believe that was where most of his fan interaction was uh, outside of his own forum, which we'll talk later. Uh, and then, uh, but mostly he was in Newsarama, mm, sometimes over at CBR um, and uh, on, on comicbook.com, Eric Larson would hang out there. Um, and other, you know, smaller, like, well, not smaller, but uh, guys that weren't necessarily working for Marvel or, or DC, uh, guys. Um, anyway, so when we, whenever we would discuss about Rob Liefeld, well, Rob Liefeld would chime in every so often and, and reply to his haters, right? So we would have back and forth with Liefeld and of course you know he would often reply to some of my comments which were always coming from the point of a, a critical critique never malicious you know I would never be like one of the ah Rob Liefeld sucks yeah, that, that's not that's not making your point in a constructive way you I would always try and tend to be analytical if you know if you guys seen my uh, comic book uh, the Black Bag Comics series of videos that I post here, you know that when I when I point out things in, 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 in the artwork, it's never to criticize just to for spite or for because, or anything. No, it's always just looking at oh well, you know, you're looking at things from from a from an artist's perspective, right? And you're just noting some things that you know maybe the average comic book reader who doesn't have any aspirations or as a comic book artist or doesn't have that type of critical eye wouldn't pick up on right so again so that's how I would normally would go about discussing Rob Liefeld's artwork and of course he would just immediately immediately dismiss you know it's like well if you think you can do better then post your art blah 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 always challenging knowing that full well that you know most of the guys talking shit about him don't have the talent to back it up now at that time i 
I mean, I would say I didn't have the talent level to back up what I was saying as far as, well, if I can produce a comic of my own, right, uh, that would shut you up. But, of course, I didn't have quite the talent to pull it off. Um, but I would st that doesn't mean I didn't have the knowledge or the, uh, the understanding to be able to discuss his artwork in a, uh, in a critical way. You know, I don't know the ins and outs of making a movie, but I know what it, but I have a certain understanding of putting how things go together and also, you know, simple like or dislike, right? I know what I like, I know what uh, is popular and what people want to see. So, you know, you can be critical of a movie without knowing the ins and outs of making a movie yourself, right? It's the, it's the same argument. Right, for or with any other profession, right? You could look at a building and say, "Well, that that building looks ugly," and the art architect will say, "Well, yeah, well, you design a better building." So again, it's the, it's the same argument. So those are the typical back and forth you would have with Rob Liefeld online. Um, so let's just set the scene for what you're seeing right now. This page. Uh, so. Uh, I was more one of the more I will not give out my uh, my username that I would use online although if you know if you know me personally you know what was my username and um, you it will be probably easy to find out um, if you do a search and you'll probably find some of those uh, online battles with Rob, Rob Liefeld anyway um, at around the early 2010s, I want to say, around the early 2010s, um, I also joined another comic, a, 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 another comic book forum, which was much clo uh, smaller, uh, and uh, it was mostly just a few group of us that were friends from um, other comic book communities. Um, so it was just more, more like a clubhouse type of thing. It was a more closer knit. Uh, we didn't let, let a lot of outsiders join. Although, I mean, it was an open forum, but again, it was mostly reserved for our closer online friends, quote unquote. So um, I had a friend from in this community and he uh, mentioned to me that I should probably join yeah, he actually said that. He said, you should probably join us at the Rob Liefeld Forum. And I was like, why? You know my stance. You've seen, you've participated in the arguments, right? You've participated in the arguments where I'm there arguing and having a back and forth with Liefeld. You know my stance. And he was like, well, you know, just be, you're just respectful and don't say anything out of line. And, um, you know, you could show us your artwork over there and you never know right so i was like i was like should i or should i eventually i did okay so i did it um and i took his advice i was like i'm gonna stay out of the any discussion involving rob himself i'm only gonna stick to the uh to the sub forum where they're talking about uh, artwork uh, and, and other, uh, you know, aspiring artists and just help them out, right? You know, with tips and all of that stuff. I'm not going to touch anything related to Rob himself and what, uh, nothing, right? Now, let me again preface, pre preface this by saying one of the other things that Rob Liefeld is known for is for his... Uh, business practices, shall we say, um, despite him claiming that he would pay his artists top my, top dollar and all of that, page rates and ex exaggerated page rates and all of that, he still had some shady stuff in the background, right? So again, that's just so you know. Anyway, so at around this time, I joined his forum right, the Rob Liefeld Forum, at request of a friend of mine. Um, and then, right almost as I, as I joined, 
the several of the members on, on that community were trying to form and work on a fan comic starring all of Liefeld's comic book characters. It was a comic that they were going to publish on their own, you know, just for fun, and, and that's it. So people were signing up for their pages and all of that, and I decided not to sign up. I didn't want to participate. I, I again, I didn't feel like I, uh, I, I didn't feel like I, I, I wanted. I just didn't want to at that time, right? Uh, my friend would encourage me. He would say, "No, no, come on, man, jump in." You know, everybody's liked your artwork that you posted, and, and I'm sure they would enjoy seeing your artwork on the, on the collaboration. I was like, no, no, that's okay. Maybe next time. Or maybe something else. I don't know. Uh, so then once everybody, once the, once the entire uh, slots were filled up, um... And every and there was like a brief plot of the uh, of the story, right? One of the artists dropped out, and my friend again, he encouraged me and said, "Step in, and raise your hand, and and take over the slot." And I was like, "Dude, you know how awkward this is gonna be if uh, you know." You know, if, if, if it's just gonna be weird, and like, nah, don't don't worry about it. It's just a fan comic and all of that. Okay, and then okay, so I I posted and I said, okay, hey, how about I I like to step in and take over for that open slot, and everyone said, okay, cool, it's yours, and um, so uh, what you're seeing right now is the result of that page, but we'll talk about this later, and so um. And so the um, the project started to get traction uh, within the community. Uh, I might be mistake. I might be remembering wrong. Wrong, because there, eventually there was a second project that that came about, but I don't know if it was on this one or on the second one that John Mallon, who would go on to um, work for Marvel, uh, he started working for Liefeld doing Young Blood. And currently is more famous for his involvement with uh, Comic Skate and all of that. Uh, you know, uh, joining with uh, Ethan Matt Skyver and, and those guys. So, um, but I believe he may have participated on this one and on the second one, contributing. He still wasn't, I believe he still wasn't a published artist at that time. Um, but anyway. So, um, again, as, as the project started to come more to life, Liefeld chimed in and said, hey, this is looking pretty cool. Um, what, if, what, if I, what if I publish it? All right, so we were, everybody was like, oh, how cool is that? That's awesome and all that, you know. Um, the thing is, I, I, I believe the story was, uh, I believe that, uh, I believe that the story was, um, just involving his characters outside of Marvel. That's how we would be able to, that's how we would be able to publish this story without having any, uh, troubles on that end. Right, so it was all of his creations from Mar, uh, from Image, from uh, from Maximum Press, and uh, what was this? Uh, extreme? No, it wasn't Extreme. Or yeah, Extreme. Well, I mean, it was Extreme Studios. But I'm, what I'm saying, he had three imprints. I'm trying to do one. Maximum Press, and there was another one. Um, so anyway, all of his creations from different uh, his different independent properties would uh, would make is what we would make on this comic. And so once we were almost at the point of finishing the project, uh, someone internal from uh, from um, 
someone I, I'm I'm trying to remember how exactly it was it that some I don't know who it was that was trying to talk to Rob directly. Um regarding you know hey what 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 kind of time frame are you looking for as far as wanting to publish this this book so that we can have it all finished on time and all of that and he would keep saying well i'll get back to you guys on that i'll get back to you guys okay uh sorry so um so again so the there was somebody uh internally talking to rob about when would this get published and all of that and he would just keep putting it off putting it off so again it was decided well maybe we'll just put it out ourselves you know print through one of those uh print on demand companies and all that and rob like what was no 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 I, I, I'm, let me just finish whatever i'm well, i don't know what the hell he was working on at that time and, and I'll, I'll and i'll make this a priority right after that um and then um and then uh <laughs> I, I don't i'm trying to remember the exact order of events or how that it came about but anyway it turns out that someone who i have an idea who what who it was uh, actually told Rob Liefeld during one separate discussion who I was, what was my username in, the, in those other forums that was, you know, quote unquote, you know, talking shit about him, right? And uh, yeah, so you can imagine that uh, Liefeld, you know, was like, oh, look at this guy, you know, he he talks a big game and all of that hides behind a username and uh here he is you know trying to, uh, to suck up to me and uh i mean and again <laughs> you gotta understand that again my stance the whole time was i didn't want to do this because i knew that uh if it would ever you know come out that um you know what was my what was my history with rob it would cause some kind of conflict, right? And of course, you know, Rob would spin the story his way. I would keep telling everyone my side of the story, and I can easily tell them, you know, just look at the just look at the, the history of discussions. But of course, no one is gonna do that, right? So no one's gonna do that, and um, and of course, everybody sided with Rob. And eventually, I got banned from the forum, right? So, um, I'm pretty sure that I don't, again, I don't know exactly what was the circumstance that led to, to Rob finding out who I was, you know, outside of the community, his community, right? Uh, but I'm pretty sure that it was the mutual friend that, you know, was on our our small community uh, and, and and his forum, the guy that invited me on to the Liefeld forum, right? I'm pretty sure it was him that told Rob. Um, I would then, uh, you know, I formed some friendships within that community, right? Especially there was an artist. There was an artist that worked with Rob in the early years of Extreme, uh, I, I, I'm not, I don't remember his full name, but he would go as Petty, <laughs> which is, you know, uh, it was P-E-T-Y, P-E-T-I, -E I believe, um, or Double T, I don't know, I actually met him once at a convention, but uh, he was also, you know, on the other, I believe he was on Userama as well. And I think he pretty much confirmed my suspicion and he told me that, yeah, it was so-and-so that told Rob who you were uh, and he pretty much outed you. And I was like, but why? Why would he out him? Why would he out me like that? And I mean, I, I was, I, again, all I did was just stay quiet. I never interacted with Rob in his forum and, you know, pretty much... All of the discussions involving Rob Liefeld in other forum in the other forums 
uh, particularly like CBR and um, Newsarama and all that had pretty much died down because the guy was not doing anything. And, you know, sometimes those discussions would run hot for a week or so, and then it would just die down, you know, until something else would come up. And, you know, that's pretty much the cycle of a life, a life filled. That was the life of a life filled conversation back then. It would stay hot for a while and then it would just cool down and, you know, it would disappear for, for months. So I again I don't know the exact reason or how he why my friend who I thought was my friend you know would uh ran me out right but he did so um and then uh this this uh guy uh, Petty he would uh you know he would you know he was I I don't know if how he was Still going on. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, he was on the Life of Forum for a while before he also got banned. Um, because he he eventually he started to talk shit to Rob of his business practices from back then, and that eventually got him uh, banned. Because um, I believe Lifefield ended up uh, owing some guys money and all of that. So. Um, when he was still at Image and taking his money to Maximum Press and uh, and all of that. So he, um, so Petty started to talk shit to Rob directly and that got him banned. Uh, so yeah, so, so this again, so this is the page that I worked on for that project. I, I mean, I don't other, there's, I mean, I, I only know um this is vogue that's die hard from uh, young blood i have no idea who this guy was um but i guess the description of the page for the plot of the page was so and so is trying to break out of his bubble prison uh die hard and vogue are there to try and break him out and you know that was pretty much it right the guy is exhausted, trying to use his powers to break out. The um, I have to give credit to another friend of mine. Uh, he suggested, you know, how Rob would break the rules for his comics when he was at Marvel and do some crazy shit. Well, maybe you should do a sideways page. And uh, he he gave me the idea for that page, uh, for the for the layout of the page, and I was like, ah, yeah, that's pretty, that's a cool idea. So, out of all of the pages done uh, for the project, mine was the only one that had a sideways page, and everybody, I don't know why, but again, everybody freaked out. It was like, oh my god, how cool is that? And you know, um. Everybody thought it was a neat idea, and everybody liked my page. You know, again, taking into consideration consideration my talent level at that time. Um, I mean, I like the page, but I mean, it's I can already tell a lot of the deficiencies in my artwork, right? So, um, all in all, the uh, the layout I kind of like. Uh, I just you know certain proportional things don't really don't uh, well I mean uh, proportional things stick out at me like uh, this hand could have been larger uh, die hard could have easily been drawn better um, the uh, this demon thing could have been drawn better I could have drawn the hand a little bit larger and all of that so again it's just the skill level at that time and um, again I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm not, I'm not one to brag and, um, you know, I can, I can tell when, uh, you know, I can tell when I'm, uh, when my artwork is not up to par, right? But again, at that time, you know, again, this is the skill level that I had and if I kept pushing my artwork more and more and more, obviously, uh, I can, uh, I would improve, right? So, i uh, Maybe down the line, I'll show some of those samples that I would take to Comic-Con just so you can guys compare my skill level that was when I first started 
and you know over 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 time how much it improved or it evolved or whatever you want to call it but anyway uh the only reason that this i had the idea to make this video was um i i, I guess i was just looking through my old uh a stack of comics and i came across a life field uh comic and uh and I remembered this piece of artwork and I was like, I wonder if I, st I mean, I probably knew I still had it, but I didn't remember. I wasn't, I wasn't storing it in like my portfolio. Uh, I had it some, somewhere else and I was looking for where I was, I had stored it and I found it. So, um, again, it's not, to, I mean, I'm not bragging about this page. Like I said, it's, it's got its faults and everything. Uh, but at the time it was, eh, it was a, fun little thing to come up with um but yeah so i never uh after that incident with liefeld um we were con <laughs> now after that incident going back into uh Musorama and all of those forums where he would interact i would then start to talk trash to him about what he did right um now, now I pretty much had a chip on my shoulder, and and uh, you know, but uh, now I I almost felt free to to talk back to him after you know pretty much being restrained for for a while. Uh, but anyway, I thought I just want to share that story. It's uh, an interesting time in comics. Can really have uh, we can still have that kind of interaction with Twitter and all of that, but uh, it's not. Um, but the art form is lost, really. The, the true interaction was with com in the forums. So anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh. Oh, uh, I have already cut off the video, but also this is going to be an additional. What I, later, <laughs> what I later found out about this project was that Rob kept putting it off and the since since um for some reason like the, the artists started to um the guys that were in charge of writing the comic some of those guys started to to drop off from the project as well and um eventually the comic never came to light I believe some guy wanted to undertake all of the the the, the writing for the project, um, and um, I don't know if he did finish it because I remember there were uh, discussions on the second one. Like I said earlier, uh, there were because uh, when I mentioned uh, John Mallon, um, there were talks of doing a second one. Uh, so when they were talking about doing a second one, that's when I was considering working on that one and not on their first one um but um uh from what i know uh and after keeping up with our, my the friend that i had that you know pretty much ratted me out i never confronted him with it but you know my suspicions were proven right um i never confronted him with it i would just you know he would uh, he, uh, he would only he would always play it off as oh well, Rob just found out, right? He Rob he found Rob somehow found out who you were and got you banned. Um, anyway, uh, but I would talk to him, you know. I, I would just let him know, hey, so whatever happened to that project? Ah, uh, Rob, he kept putting it off. He kept putting it off, and eventually the guys in the project lost interest. Uh, he mentioned that you know that they were gonna start to working on a second one, but. That didn't materialize either. And um, one of the things, and so I just started to remember one of the things that uh, Rob had done, again, just to go back a little bit to what I was saying regarding Rob's business practices. Rob had launched a Kickstarter for Brigade in 2016 
2017, something like that. Uh, he is yet to release it. Um, that Brigade Kickstarter has not seen the light of day. So he, I don't know what, uh, what he was charging for the tears, but infamously, uh, every so often you will he you will see someone post a comment either on one of his videos uh, on his Twitter and like hey Rob so how's that brigade kickstarter going <laughs> and he would immediately shut it down right of uh, the discussion so uh yeah again uh, 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 personally on a, like on a professional level I can respect Liefeld for his contributions to comics during the era that I started uh, reading and collecting you know uh, because he did he did play a part in you know shaping uh, the future of comics with image and all of the other guys uh, I'll never deny that part of his history and I'll also you know his history with Marvel creating certain characters like Cable and Deadpool that have gone on to become bigger since his departure of the, uh, and working on those person, characters personally, especially Deadpool, who is a far cry from what he was originally, you know. But, uh, but yeah, I just, like, that was just like an, uh, a quick anecdote that I wanted to, the, 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 just, um, to mention right so if you ever see Rob at a comic convention just uh, mention uh, brigade the, the brigade kickstart and see how it's going I would also uh, you know just walk by Rob at the conventions at the Comic Con actually I would stop by his booth and almost purposefully not say anything to him I would just stop by flip through his stuff and uh, hoping that he would recognize the name on my badge but uh, I guess he you know obviously he's not gonna look uh, yeah. back in those in, in around those years he was sharing well not sharing he would bring in John Mallon and I would talk to John Mallon instead of Rob Liefeld so yeah there's that um, but anyway, now, uh, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and if you're interested in seeing more of uh, my artwork, you know, let me know. Um, I, uh, again, uh, just to uh, emphasize, the, the channel's name is Eric's Hobbies and Customs, although it's heavily leaning towards the custom and the action figure realm and all of that. But the goal for this channel was to post more of my other stuff, my other interests, right? The hobbies aspect, aspect, which involved the comics, which I do share with uh, the Black Bag comic series. And I'm soon going to be continuing that series and, and bringing in uh, the long box discussion, uh, which are the comics that are in my long box, which are the comics that I do like. So we're going to be going over those. Um, and eventually, I'm gonna start sharing my uh, my artwork. Uh, this is just one of the pieces that I'm gonna start with. Uh, and eventually, I wanted to uh, share you guys with you guys the progress for my comic book projects that I have in mind. Um, I uh, uh, but uh, but like I said, um, the comic book industry right now is not like one of the best to break in and also uh, to s release like an original project might not be the uh, most optimal time for success which has also put me off from pursuing comics right but um eventually i think i'm gonna start coming back to that slowly but surely so anyway uh oh and there's also one other aspect of my hobby collecting that i have that i haven't shared yet which is my uh my uh my guitar collection i also play guitar so 
I want to post some videos of me, you know, doing some covers of some stuff. So stay tuned for that sometime in the future. Now I'm doing the outro. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So quick addendum, part two. I uh, just wanted to add one other detail that, uh, that I just remembered. The reason why Liefeld wanted to publish the comic, the fan comic, was he got involved himself. He added that he would like to join and that he would like to do a page. Obviously, at that time, all of the pages were assigned to someone. So he decided to make like a zero page. He even showed us like a sketch. And eventually, uh, that's as far as it went. So the delay in making the fan comic, which was pretty much completed, all it had to do was just get scripted and all of that, was because, because Rob uh, decided to join in and he would do a page. So his page delay pretty much caused the uh, comic not to be released. And uh, that's... Uh, from what I recall, the reason why it never came out. All right. Now this is the last, this is the end of the video. Later.